allow us to introduce you to the dangerous spider lork Sorcelles, commonly known as the recluse spider or the violinist. In previous videos, we have had the opportunity to observe their hunting strategies, we see how the recluse spider surprises with a stealthy and sudden bite. Despite their calm behavior, these spiders are active predators. Females of the famous recluse spider can lay up to 50 eggs. Once hatched, they emerge as tiny spiders, although they don't yet have the characteristic violin-shaped marking. During their early stages of life, these offspring stay close to their mother before venturing out on their own in search of food and territory. The life of recluse spider offspring can be brutal. In a surprising twist, these spiders are known for their cannibalism, with the offspring often becoming prey to their older siblings or even their mother if hunger demands it. This aspect of their behavior adds an even more intriguing nuance to the complex dynamics of the lives of these venomous creatures. In this astonishing moment of the video, we observe how the recluse spider offspring deploys a unique survival strategy the autotomy of one of its legs. This detached limb seems to acquire a life of its own, moving independently to distract and confuse potential predators, revealing the surprising adaptability of these spiders. This one is the majestic spider Stetoda, commonly known as the False Black Widow. Prepare to be amazed by the beauty and mystery of this intriguing spider. With its elegant figure and intriguing behavior, the Stetoda has captivated the imagination of entomologists and nature lovers alike. The Stetoda, an exemplary mother among spiders, demonstrates exceptional care towards her egg sacs. For weeks, she guards them zealously until they hatch. It's impressive to witness how, as soon as they are born, these offspring already possess the innate ability to weave. We have decided to carry out a meeting between both spiders, a common event that occurs in the dark and hidden corners of our homes, and now we will have the unique opportunity to observe it up close. While the venom of the recluse spider is known for its potency and ability to cause serious effects in humans, that of the stetoda, though less dangerous, should not be underestimated. Both venoms contain a unique combination of toxins that enable these spiders to capture and disable their prey. We see how the stetoda gives a first warning to the dangerous recluse spider. Faced with the impressive response of the stetoda, the Loxorcelles decides to release the prey it had in its mouth. Now, the stetoda has directed its attention towards the Loxorcelles. However, before proceeding with feeding, it prefers to act cautiously. Since its prey is of a similar size, the stetoda chooses to probe it carefully before making any decision. The web woven by the stetoda is notable not only for its strength and elasticity but also for its unique properties that make it a masterpiece of natural engineering. This silk, with its characteristic stickiness, not only traps unsuspecting prey but also serves as an effective mechanism for defense and communication in the world of spiders. We see how the false black widow subtly attempts to corner the recluse spider. Once perfectly located and with the Lork Sorcelles in its sights, the Stetoda prepares its ambush with great precision, ready to unleash its silk stampede and subdue its prey. Yeah. 
We see how the Lord Sorcerese, at the last moment, seems to sense the intentions of the false Black Widow, but the Stetoda reacts with incredible speed and does not allow its prey to escape. The Recluse Spider displays its dangerous Venom-loaded Chelicerae, but the Silk Stampede of the Stetoda will block any possible reaction. Thread by thread, it keeps chaining its prey more and more, but it must be cautious, as any carelessness on the part of this false black widow could result in a fatal outcome. The silk of the Stetoda, notable for its stickiness, is composed of a complex matrix of fibrous proteins that intersect to form a sticky and resistant network. This unique chemical composition gives its web the ability to effectively trap prey of large size. With mastery and cunning, the Stetoda wraps the Lork Sorcerer's in its sticky web, weaving an inescapable fate for its prey. We observe how the spider reinforces the anchors of its web, ensuring that it can withstand the weight of the Lork Sorcerer's without breaking. The presence of Stetoda spiders in our homes is crucial as they act as natural guardians, protecting us from possible bites from recluse spiders. This is especially important given the significant medical risk associated with Loxorcelles bites, further highlighting the beneficial role of Stetoda in our domestic environment. At this point, the Lord Sorcerer finds it impossible to resist, trapped in the skillfully woven web by the Stetoda. Even in the midst of being trapped in the sticky web of the Stetoda, the Lord Sorcerer shows fierce determination, summoning strength to try to break the chains. It is intriguing to observe how the false Black Widow, has not ceased for a moment in its tireless activity of spinning web, as if its prey represented an exceptional threat. It continues to wrap it with unwavering determination, demonstrating great cunning. The bite of the recluse spider can trigger a series of harmful effects in humans. One of the most common reactions is cutaneous necrosis, a process in which the tissue around the bite begins to disappear due to the action of toxins present in the venom, causing severe pain, which takes weeks or even months to fully heal. Additionally, some individuals may experience systemic symptoms such as fever, nausea, vomiting, and headaches. In rare but serious cases, the bite of the recluse spider can lead to severe complications affecting internal organs, such as kidney failure. We decided to conclude the encounter and let our Stetoda spider feed in peace. If you liked this video, 
please give it a like and subscribe to continue watching this content.